Hello and welcome to this week's vlog. Um, we've got lots of news for you this week. Um, a little bit about the Macmillan, I'll pull my mask up, uh, Macmillan Coffee Morning. Um, some great news about World Education Week. Some even better news about becoming a digital schoolhouse school. Um, some news about our Primary 7 transition and how we are starting that off again this year. So I hope you enjoy listening to our news. So I'm lucky enough to be joined by Oscar and Annie who have helped arrange this year's Macmillan Coffee Morning. Um, and today, which is Thursday, you join us on Thursday here, we have our S1 and S2 Coffee Morning and tomorrow we'll have our Senior Coffee Morning. So it looks like to be a great event and I'm going to speak to Oscar and Annie just to see how they've found organised it. So Annie, how did you go about organising the Coffee Morning today? Uh, we went and we asked loads and loads of people, teachers, pupils, if they would donate cakes for today. And they did, and there's been lots and lots of cakes. Everyone's really enjoying them. Um, really happy with what's happened. There's probably some left over for tomorrow as well. Good, good. I don't know if I get a chance, there might be none. Yeah. Um, Oscar, <laughs> and this is your first um, event that the new Senior Pupil Leadership team have organised. How have you found it? I think it's going really well so far. Uh, we've obviously earned quite a lot of money. It's doing well, as you can see. Lots of people out. We've all come together as a great team setting this up and I think this can be a great event for the Ed Millen. Good, good and I think you're right, it has um, you've worked really well as a team to, to set it up um, so, so well done on that um, front. Now tomorrow, which will be Friday, we'll be holding our um, senior coffee morning um, and I hear there's a bake-off. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, so there'll be lots of nice cakes from some of the staff and pupils and funnily enough, I'm a judge. But if Annie wins, it's no fix because her cakes are usually amazing, but trust me, it won't be a fix. And it's nice to see you wearing your gloves. Give everyone a wee wave. Anyway, thanks for joining us Thank and uh, we'll speak to you again later. The cakes are very amazing. Change of venue for this week's news vlog. Um, I'm up in the study room and you can see behind me there is the yearbook uh, committee having their first meeting making sure that it's all sorted for uh, them leaving next year. Um, first of all, we'd like to talk about World Education Week. Um, you will know that we were involved in World Education Week last year and we were one of two Scottish schools involved in that great event. This year, we are the only Scottish school involved, over 100 schools from across um, the world, from Japan, Australia, Dubai, all over the world, and we are the only Scottish school involved to share some of our journey. If you look out on our social media sites um, over the next week, you'll see how to register for the event, so you can see um, some of our young people perform and, and hear about some of our journey through COVID and how we're recovering from that. You'll see the registration, registra register before the event um, and you'll be sent a link on how to, to join on the day. We'll be presenting on the 5th of October and all the information will be shared, as I say, on our social media sites. So join us and uh, support the Dunoon Grammar School as you always do. <laughs> Some more exciting news, uh, Durham Grammar School has been named as the first Scottish school to become a digital schoolhouse school. Um, there are only 50 schools globally um, involved in this and it allows us to deliver computing science um, to our cluster primary schools and that will be delivered by uh, Mr Gallina and we'll probably be using some, some young people involved in that. And it's going to uh, support our um, transition, our curricular transitions and that will build on the fantastic pastoral transition that we have um, already but um, really looking forward to seeing this. It's sponsored by Nintendo um, so you might see some uh, games getting taken place during the school um, but it's a really um, exciting uh, bit of news and again a big thank you to Mr Gallina. And finally some news about our Primary 7 transition. Um, we are working really hard to improve our offer, particularly around the curricular area. Um, and Mr Gallina and Mrs Campbell met with our Primary 7 cluster heads um, last week to discuss our timeline for this year. And we'll be sharing that with our Primary 7 parents um, very shortly. Um, and we hope to have a face, we'll be able to have a face-to-face -face meeting with our Primary 7 parents after the October holidays. But we'll get as much information out to you as quickly as we can. Thanks uh, so much for joining us again this week. Um, I'm going to get the yearbook committee to say goodbye from the, uh, from the school this week. Guys, have a wee wave. They're a bit sh you wouldn't believe that they're shy. No, they're definitely not shy. Here's some of our studiers. 
Um, so thanks for joining us um, and we'll speak to you again next week with some news um, regarding the, the Dunham Project meeting that was held um, at the end of last week as well. Thank <laughs> you.